Should we talk about body count? Body count, should body count matter, yes or no? I tell you mine. Oh, is it? No. What's your no. body count is what I want to well, know. Yeah, what is yours? As I would a, love to know. As a man of God, as a man of God, I do mm. not reveal my body count. Uh, oh, here we go. What do you expect? Why do you expect the one that's not happening? Like that. Yeah, I prefer, I prefer women. It doesn't matter to me. What's your body count? You gotta tell uh, us. I'm not going to share it, but I prefer well, women. You Are you a virgin? No. <laughs> okay. I'm not a virgin. Are you sure? So Brian. multiply by three, it's That's at least three. That's a big old double standard. Brian, well, no, why? Totally. Yeah. Why does it bother you that I've slept with so many men? Why? Have you? I want to know why. Have you? I think he explained yes, earlier. Yes, I a good amount of men. So why would you feel uncomfortable about that? He explained earlier why what that matters. It? But it's, it's you just yeah, can't stand the fact because it's that gross. He was saying it was me? gross. Like, that's gross. That sounds very immature. Like, what is it really? But it's well, not gross if it's, your it's, has been in a lot of anus. Like, what does that mean? And no, there's not STDs because that doesn't mean I'm fucking other people while I'm having sex with you. I don't have an STD currently, so. I mean, but didn't you say that you're currently sleeping with one guy and dating three to four total? Talking, texting, As she should. Well, that would that I'm would already to me that days. would already disqualify a girl because even if you weren't sleeping with any of the other guys, if I know a girl's dating four four other dudes, I'm like, I'm just not going to pursue it. Why? Until well, I maybe I want to actually wait and see who I really like and. With. It's really not that Guys hard to do the hold same. on, hold on. It's really not that hard to date just one person at a time. Maybe that call no, me old fashioned. Of course, not. Of course not. But, I've done that my whole life. But I and that's why I think people get so stuck in situationships and why people are so dissatisfied with modern dating is this so many options or illusion of options. I think people ought to date one person at a time. If it doesn't work, fine, move on to the next one. But you got people I'm who at are. I don't want to be hung up I kind of, I like, I like that though. I don't want to get emotional. But I think the, the re, so that's, again, that's your problem. That yeah. That's why you can't find somebody. Yeah, right because now. like what Brian is saying, yeah. you, if, if you're dating multiple men, then yeah, you're not giving 100% to that one guy. So you're automatically not getting 100% back either. Well, you'll get it when you know they're giving you 100%. If I'm treated That's like an option, I'm going to treat you, her like you gotta an option. Show up. You, you got to show up first. Like, oh, I want to go in, I'll go in. I agree with you. I was in that point when I moved to America because I did it before. Like if I'm dating with you, like I only dated with you and I came here and I'm like, oh that's not gonna work here because guys like really doing the same like i'm like telling them like oh so i'm like to do everything like faster like oh we like commit like we dating only each other and they're like oh i can't do that i like i need to like to choose i'm talking with that girl with that girl and i just realized like it's how everything works here mm -hmm. but obviously i when i'm like go on a date with the different guys i don't want to sleep with everybody but it's like ended up like yeah you choosing you need to weigh yeah. out your options here but i think a lot of especially nowadays um people are dating multiple people without having sex with them because they have they've been in a shitty relationship or situationship yeah. where they can't they have trust issues with themselves and with the person that they're dating so they're like okay just in case let me keep keep this one in a basket and this one in a basket in a different basket just in case if one doesn't work they can go to the other and that's where kind of like anxiety and like trust issues and, and things like that kind of come up this is where i don't have anxiety me talking mm -hmm. to multiple guys me talking to one guy gives me more anxiety at can the you tilt the microphone down a little bit yeah I said talking to multiple guys doesn't give me anxiety right now, but because I've been in a couple past shitty relationships, yeah, I'm probably like, oh, like, I want to just talk to multiple guys right now, and I don't want to Like, we we're talking about, like, anything. talking. We're, ta and we're like, talking. We're not talking about sleeping with until a somebody This is, like, like, the root of the problem, though. I mean, I, I went I've through... I've been with not the root of the problem. I've, I've had many boyfriends. Like, I've been in relationships my whole life. Right. No, but my, my point is that around. you're... you're fear and not to put you on the spot but your fear and insecurity mm -hmm. that's putting you in a position where you can only have surface level relationships with a few guys is preventing you from getting a deeper one exactly. like when i was when i was in my I've had the deeper one when, right when right i was in college i i had the, the same mindset like I want to, <laughs> I'm uh, in my you know, I, phase. well, yeah, no, yeah. I mean, I, I, I wanted to date multiple girls at a time, have the whole rotation thing. Um, but I realized after a while that that was actually mostly out of insecurity. Uh, and there was a moment in my life where I was like, wouldn't it be nice if I could just be happy with one girl? I've had that multiple times. I guess I'm just in a different headspace. Right no, that's now. Exactly How does it what work? I'm like, uh, I, I'm super straightforward. So most of the time I'm like, 
Okay. Uh, do we like kind of like uh, building right now the base of the, the future relationship? And I'm like coming up with that idea, and then like, oh, I, I'm not sure. I'm ready for that. Most of the guys telling me that. So I'm I'm ready to date and one guy and like focus and, and give the all the all my energy. But they are not ready. Most for guys that. are not. They ready like for oh I I'm he they are like kind of like a scared of relationship or like yeah. scared yeah, of commitment. I mean, many, many, but many. I, I would honestly look at that and ask yourself like, are you really ready? Right. I'm I don't... ready mentally and emotionally for relationship. What about you, Lexi? What? Are you ready? I'm ready to give in like my time. Your name's not Lexi, but okay. I don't know if I'm ready right Lexi, now. Lexi, no. you're not. I'm not ready right now. You're not. Well, I mean, yeah, you're <laughs> sleeping with one guy and you're dating three Yeah, to I'm four. not ready. No, I've been in a couple of past, like I said, I've been in these other relationships. I'm not, no, and I'm really focused right now on my sh On your sh mm -hmm. Okay. So, not really. I think it's perfectly normal to date around a lot. I've been in relationships with guys who have had multiple girlfriends Boys. and know where Boys. they went wrong and are able to do better because of that. And I've also dated guys I was their first girlfriend and they don't know what the fuck they're doing because they've never experienced it before and I feel like I'm teaching them. So I almost feel like it's better, in what? my opinion, from my experience, to be with people who've experienced other people. Amen to that Oh, no, yeah, for sure. Uh, wait, mm -hmm. so you're saying you've had boyfriends who didn't have experience? Or? Yeah, I've been their first girlfriend and then I've had boyfriends who've dated like quite a few girls and usually it's better when they've had the experience, they know where they went wrong. I think, it's, I think it's the opposite for men. To, I think it's the opposite for men. How do you know what you want if you don't experience different things? Because you could think you want something in your mind and then you try it on your board. I mean, you don't even whatever. know what's out there. A lot you of you guys know. sound like you've had a lot of dating experience. And mm -hmm. have you been able to find a good relationship? Are you guys I've religious some, at all? I've by chance? Left, Super spiritual. Yeah, of most of them. So I think part of I think part of like finding a uh, if you're actually interested in looking for a life partner mm -hmm. is being open to leaving part of it up to whatever higher power you believe in. A hundred percent. I agree with that. Because yeah. you're going to attract someone who's like generally what you want, mm -hmm. but they're going to have some, you know, uh, that they got to deal yeah, with. Nobody's perfect. And right. And people change exactly. a lot. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think you have to be open to mm -hmm. an imperfect mm -hmm. human. I agree to that. Of mm -hmm. course. I agree to that, and I feel like that's how I found my perfect match in a, in a way. Because I, I told the girls earlier, I was like, I decided, okay, I'm, I'm healing myself. I love myself. I found, finally found like a rhythm within myself. And then again, you kind of just let it, you know, don't just have make it, put the decision on somebody else too, mm -hmm. like you were saying. You know, either either it's spiritually or religiously, and um, you kind of just continue working, you know, every day towards becoming a better person, a better you, mm -hmm. without having to date around 24 seven. Cause I feel mm -hmm. like I don't wanna spend my time on dating and doing X, Y, and Z and talking and texting when it's gonna be for nothing. Like why spend my energy on, on somebody that's not gonna matter to me? And then, you know, things happen and you find the right person. Mm -hmm. Look, ultimately it's just not, it's really not that hard to date one person at a time. If no, it doesn't, <laughs> if it doesn't work, you can meet someone new, but I think people are getting into trouble and it's, I don't think it's conducive to the development of a relationship if you're dating a ton of people at the same time. But you can go on different dates and not be sleeping with them and stuff. You yeah, can just kind of see what you that's want. That's true. Right? That's true. But then you also have girls that are sleeping with like three, four, five guys at Correct. the same time. Teach so that's, their own. That's if they're why okay with it, really their think, partner's yeah. okay with it. Who cares? Honestly. Most men would not be cool. If you ask mm, most men. Most guys live like that. Mm, they're doing it behind your back, so. I think well, you just quite, have to know your right? angle. Quite often, yeah. Of what well, you know, and what men do. I, I feel like a lot of what you guys have been saying is is very indicative of the type of men that you end up associating with. And I think even even in a place like L.A., like you're talking about a city of 10 million people. Mm -hmm. You might just be talking about a very niche demographic. That, we're in the that industry. It, the industry we're in. Exactly. Ten times exactly. More my difficult point, yeah. to date anybody, first yeah. of all. So but but what what I'm you saying, don't some random guy down the street normally no, and then you have people online that maybe might be a fan of yours or you don't know who they are or you meet someone with a check mark that's been in the industry that's fucked. So it's like, well, I guess I guess what I'm saying is, is your own career aside, like mm -hmm. you shouldn't you shouldn't be prioritizing what you're doing when you're looking for someone else. Right. Like they have to have their own life, regardless of, of how it aligns Absolutely. like professionally. Mm -hmm. I think I think a lot of the times I, I hear girls complaining about 
how the guys, every guy is, is so trash when like, they're sort of just dating a copy and pasted version mm -hmm. with like a different haircut yeah. of like yeah. the same base traits in a dude, you know, yeah. an emotionally unavailable and sort of like, like, like remote detached from reality in a lot of ways that I think you are in that, like you've had, you've had a pretty like successful career in your twenties. And I think as an attractive person or a successful person, when you're young, when you have that, you have sort of a removal of, of a necessity for accountability and you have the ability to sort of say, this is who I am. This is what I want. Fuck what you want. I'm, I'm going to put my foot down and like, you haven't really had to ever, you know, put your ego aside and just be a, you know, be, be, be an adult for a sec because you, you can afford the luxury of saying, fuck you. I don't got to deal with this. I'm, mm. I'm rich and I'm hot yeah. and I got my own thing going on. Like move along instead of, instead of taking a second to like check in with yourself and say, what, what am I doing wrong here? Where, where, where are the, where are the parts that I might not be stepping up to the plate in this mm -hmm. relationship? And why am I consistently finding people that I don't connect with and that are mistreating me? Am I mistreating myself first and foremost? Am exactly I, what it am is. I, am I, am I not giving myself enough mm -hmm. love? Because it, it seems like I'm consistently, you talk about manifestation. It, it's all, it's, it's magnetism too. It doesn't even, it doesn't even matter what you're asking the universe for. It's what you're telling yourself too. Oh, it's, it's about, about what it's about, kind of it's about the relationship that you have with yourself. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of women and men, um, are, are, are caught in a loop of really just toxic relationships because they have a toxic relationship with themselves. Mm -hmm. And I think yeah, a lot yeah, of, yeah. I think a lot of what that comes from is totally not our fault. And like everybody watching, like we, 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 we didn't ask for this, right? Like when I was, when I was in high school, I started using social media and became like painstakingly aware of the fact that there's just a million options at all times. And especially when you're in the industry or an attractive mm -hmm. girl, like, those options are just always available to you. And so it's been really hard for me to be monogamous and like lock in with people that would have been absolutely amazing for me that had nothing wrong with them, you mm -hmm. know, and that I was the one that fell short and I had to take responsibility for that and know that because I was in a position where, where I could afford to be with, you know, really hot girls and, and like live an incredible life, I didn't take accountability as a man to, to be the person that, that a partner would need. Mm -hmm. And I think that's where a lot of men fall short is the, is, is their lack of accountability. And it's the same thing with, with women, you know, we, we really have, have gotten so much ego with no basis and, and you have just a, a generation of people that are so blameless and, and act like they're, they're God's gift to earth when, when really we're, we're all looking for the same thing. We want to be loved. Like everybody but wants to be loved. Mm -hmm. but okay, well, but women yourself. do too, and, and it's I, a, and and, yeah, and Lexi. Men, men just need to be great, like, great, and and you're and you're just God's gift to earth, right? Because like, I've been a, an amazing girlfriend. Yeah. I'm sure you have, but you've also been like consistently talking over people and and not allowing space when right. when people are having a dialogue. Like there there are certain components of of having a mature dynamic with someone that I think you could still work on. That's mm -hmm. there's nothing wrong with that you know you've gotten a coast by and and whatever but like it, in order to get the the relationship that you're shying away from by by having these surface level relationships you do need to like first do that work with yourself and i don't mean like checking co-star i don't mean like like looking at tarot cards i mean i mean like like actually just taking a look at yourself and i'm not talking to you specifically i'm talking to, to everybody like myself included i think i think we all have been barraged with with so much information that it has clouded us and clouded our ability to really even know ourselves and yeah. and you have to clear that shit out before you can ever like even be the person like you, you to, in order to be the person that you like need to be to have that partner because that's where i'm at in my life right yeah. like i've consistently fallen short with with relationships or they've fallen short for me where it doesn't work and i and i keep going oh they're just not right they're just not right they're just not right but I think the reality is that I haven't really done that own cross checklist on myself, right? And gone, what, what type of person <clears throat> am I looking for? What are those boxes that I need to check? And what do I need to bring to the mm -hmm. table? Yeah. What kind of man do I need to be in order to attract that kind of person? Because yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. it's not just going to come to you. And, and yeah. like you, you thinking that like manifestation only gets you so, so far. far. Application is, yeah. what, is what delivers yeah. results. And you have to, you have to know exactly what you're looking for and what it takes to get that in order to, to manifest to that level, you yeah. know?
a key component of I manifestation was, is like real, true, genuine effort. Mm-hmm. effort yeah. Man, Action. that was. Let me shake your hand, man. That was that was quite the cook. <laughs> that was a great yeah. that was quite the yeah. cook. <laughs> Go. Well done. And Go. I have a, I have a very um, similar journey too. Like cool. I was super hurt for, or I was hurting people and I didn't understand why. And I had such amazing men that were coming into my life, but really it came down to me and I had to realize like I was not okay. And I had to do all this healing work to actually be able to like own my feminine and like love back. So it's been like a beautiful process. For sure. People sometimes like mirror for you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let me let me do a couple super chats that came in here. All right, yo, Marquavius Martin. Sorry we didn't treat this as a TTS. 